Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are actually going to be checking out this uh, Corio uh, TU-154. Now, we have checked this thing out before, obviously we've flown this thing into the flak, uh, but we haven't actually tried to land it or anything like that, so I figured that's what we'll actually try and do today. Now, as well as that, uh, something that I want to note is that um, the windows on this thing have glitched out a little bit, as you guys can see. Uh, they're a little bit, I don't know, pushed out. I'm not sure why this is happening. Uh, but it is, so, um, we just gotta ignore this. Yeah, we'll just ignore this. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump inside, we're gonna take off with this thing. Uh, we're gonna fly it around, and then we're gonna attempt to land it, and hopefully, all will go well. So, let's go ahead and get inside, and get this thing flying. Alright, so in order to actually get inside of this thing, we're going to go ahead and open up the cargo door. Sorry, the normal door. There we go. Go ahead and close the cabin door, and that is awesome. Uh, there are lights in the roof, but we can't actually turn those on yet. Uh, so let's try and figure this out. Right, flight engineer seat. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on battery A. We'll turn on the APU. We'll turn on the master switches, and that's all good. We're going to turn all the fuels up to full, because uh, I think that makes sense. We'll turn on all of the generators. And that is it. All right, very good. Uh, fire expressions, we don't need any of that. The pack is heaters. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Panel lights, yes, we need those. And select, uh, start selected engine. So one's going to start first. Then we press this button, then we'll start two. And then we'll press this button once again. And that'll start three. All right, awesome. Tank feeds, I think we need all of those on. All right, awesome. Uh, logo lights, anti-collision lights, strobe lights, and nav lights. They're all going to go on as well. Uh, if we come forwards onto this side, uh, I I believe there's like a, a light for inside of here. We got our flaps already down. Okay, our landing lights are right there. Uh, frequencies, zeros. We don't need any of that. How do I turn on the lights in here? Because it's very dark. System on. Okay, very good. And where's the lights button? Do we not have lights? We do. I don't know where they are though. Oh, there it is. There it is back there. All right, cool. I found it. I found it. All right, change engine. Let's start engine number two. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and that'll be fine. All right, good. So that is everything we need, I believe. Let's um, get going. Oh, we need one more engine. There we go. Cool. Okay, cool. All of the engines are started. We can then deselect this. That's fine. Uh, the panel lights are on. That's all good. Are the cabin lights on now? Or do we have to turn this on somewhere else? I'm sure we have to turn on the cabin lights somewhere in here, but I don't know where. Oh, we do actually want to turn the APU off as well, because we no longer need that. That's fine. Uh, and we're going to put on recirculating fans, which is these. That is epic that those actually start spinning. That's so cool. Uh, right, okay. So, oh, here it is. Emergency exits and cabin lights. There we go. So the lights, whoa, should be on back here, which indeed they are. Awesome. Right, I think we're ready to go. Pilot seat. Turn the parking brake off. I can't? <laughs> Why can't I turn the parking brake off? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why can't I do that? Turn off. I can't do it. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have to taxi and take off with our brakes on. That's a very interesting design feature, but um, whatever. I guess that's okay. Here we go. We're going to taxi. I, I don't know whether taxiing with the brakes on is a good idea, uh, but we're going to try our best to do so. That's all right. Don't worry. Uh, and then we'll just take off. In fact, let's just take off. Here we go. Floor it. Lift off. Come up. There we go. We're in the sky. Awesome. Let's go ahead and lift up the landing gear, which is actually on this panel. Oh, Jesus. I'm flying around. Oh, my God. Okay, it's on this panel on the roof, and I can't see it because the panel's all fallen down. This is a broken airliner. I don't know how this has happened. All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's try and figure this out. Trim up. There we go. Is that allowing us to be okay? Nope. Oh, now it is. Let's try and level it out a little bit. That's okay. We need to get into the middle, into this seat, to do the landing gear. And then a few of you guys wanted to see the landing gear go up. So, here you go. This is the landing gear going into the plane. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty sick. It, like, folds itself all the way over. That's really cool. And then the doors close behind it. And then it's like we've got no landing gear. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, we do actually have this thing flying. And it is actually looking A-OK. -okay. Uh, I do want to turn off the uh, the flaps if I can, because they shouldn't really be on. Oh, they automatically turned off. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we're nosing down. That's fine. I want to land this thing. I actually really want to attempt to land it. 
And uh, I think we should go to an airfield to do that. So how about we go back to either O'Neill or Harrison Air Base and we do attempt to put this thing on the ground. It seems like a fun idea. Let's do it. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much lined up. Uh, yeah, there's the runway in front of us. I do need to jump out into this seat to turn our landing gear off so it goes down. We're going to do the flaps as well. That seems fine. And there is also a set landing throttle uh, to, to landing. So we'll go ahead and put that on too. Roll damper, your damper. Okay, and we are going to attempt to land this plane like this. All right, we should turn that off until we get closer. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good point. Trim to zero. Uh, just, just throttle all the way up. There we go. We're going to turn that down once we get closer. Although it's nosing down. Why is it nosing down so heavily? What in the world? I think I might have broken this plane. Like, completely. So, this is going to be a dangerous landing. But we got this. We totally got this, actually. Come on. Come on, guys. I think these might be doing something to our plane that we, like, shouldn't be happening. But, uh... That's fine. We're going to go ahead and turn on the landing lights on both sides. There we go. Oh, they both actually work. That's fantastic. Uh, we are not lined up on the runway anymore. We need to turn to the side. Come on, we got this. This is fine. Uh, we have push brakes. We got spoilers. We'll turn the spoilers on when we hit the ground. Because uh, I don't know whether they work that way. In fact, let's just press it now. There we go. Got our spoilers out. Awesome. We're a little bit low. Like, we shouldn't really be down here, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to put it down on the ground. And we're going to land. Come on, we got this. We do, we got this, right? I think. Come on, please. Please say we got this. Okay, we're landing. We're down on the on the center line. We landed. Okay, and it stopped pretty much instantly. Awesome. Uh, the parking brake is still on, which is very interesting. I don't know why that's the case. But um, there you go. This thing's actually pretty easy to land. Uh, but it does appear to be a little bit broken. But never mind. That's fine. That's completely fine. That was awesome. Okay, so what I was thinking we would do then, uh, now that we're actually on the ground, is we'd have a little look around. So, obviously we got the spoilers. I don't know why the parking brake doesn't come off. Oh, it actually does when the engines aren't on. That's very interesting. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, obviously those windows are a bit glitched out. Not sure why that's happening, but it is. Um, and yeah, we got a few things in here. In fact, we've got a fire extinguisher, and we've got some oxygen masks in case we crash into water. That's actually a pretty nice idea. Anyway, uh, if we close that door up, we've obviously got the cabin door on the side. I did this in the previous video, but I do want to go through it again. Uh, we do actually have some, like, really nice seats. These seats are super cool. Uh, so these ones at the front don't actually have any uh, storage on the back. But if we go backwards a little bit further, look at this. They've got storage in the back of them. That's actually really cool. That is so cool. Um, but yeah, if we continue backwards, we've obviously got these cabin doors on the side. Uh, and then if we continue backwards even further, we've got these emergency exits onto the wings. And we've got these exit signs up there. Which is pretty much it, actually, for this entire plane. Now, what I didn't mention last time is that this is actually a North Korean airline uh, plane. Yeah. This is the only, like, the only airline in the world that runs this plane as an airliner is the North Korean airline. So, um... Yeah, very strange. I did want to mention that last time, but obviously, because I've seen this, but obviously I didn't really, really know. But anyway, yeah, super cool. It is a really, really cool plane. I just wish the windows were a bit fixed. Yeah, because that's, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to take a little look at the landing gear as well. Uh, this is the landing gear when it's down. The doors do actually close onto the landing gear. I think that's actually pretty cool. That looks amazing. Uh, if we go further towards the back, the rear of this airline looks fantastic too. Uh, and I can see the way it's been done, so these must be on pivots. Yeah, this whole bit is on a pivot, I think. Uh, and that makes it push up into the plane. Which is quite cool, actually. Yeah, or something's going on here with pivots. Uh, but anyway, let's run back to the front and see what's going on here. Uh, this is the front landing gear. It looks awesome, actually. Um, yeah, and that folds in too. That is actually a really cool plane. It is so cool. Um, but yeah, this video was basically for those guys that didn't want to see the plane on fire um, in the thumbnail. So there you go. The plane wasn't in, on fire in the thumbnail. We actually did a successful takeoff, a successful landing, and we had a little tour of the plane. So um, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.